Hey guys, what the? noticed a lot of um, you guys on Instagram have either asked me before what are good editing, editing apps to use when making videos like for video edits or videos for YouTube, Vimo, or whatever you need them or want them for. Um, so I always say use use what you know and use the knowledge that you know now I'm not gonna say one apps or one software is better than, than the other because to be honest with you I tried them all well I think I tried them all and I just found key uh, I just found certain ones that work for me better um, so yeah, I'm going to tell you what they are, and you can disagree, you can agree, it's okay, it's okay to disagree, but here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you three tips that I picked up just from doing this for 10 years, um, and I'm going to tell you one app that I use the most, which is iMovie. Now, if you don't have an Apple device, I'm assuming you can get a similar um, app on Android, any device that you have that's not Apple, but what I have is iMovie, and I use that to make YouTube videos for you guys. I also use um, used Windows Movie Maker on uh, Windows if you have that you can also use that because that's a good starting software to use and if you want to take it a step further than iMovie or Windows um, you can also uh, purchase Adobe Premiere um, which is a CD that you um, program into the into your computer you could just use Adobe like you would iMovie. So, yeah, and then three tips that I have is um, if you're really good with music and you're making a edit that that has certain music in, into it that you want to like match with the video, like to tell a story, you have to be good with rhythm. And a lot of the apps do this for you, but you have to know like certain um, tricks with rhythm and just lyrically you have to know where things like drop and all this different things in like the song and you have to try to match that with the clips of the video or clips of the thing that you're trying to edit. So yeah. And then I also took a media class in junior year of high school, and it, and it was basically a course that I wanted to take to broaden my knowledge, but also kind of re-familiarize myself with the knowledge I, that I've already learned, just trying to get more, um, more exposure to it, you know, but and the next tip I'm gonna tell you guys and you probably you you probably know this by now but if you don't the second step is continuity which is making sure it flows and not having choppy like edits like choppy clips and a lot of youtubers do use choppy clips to their advantage and that's amazing but if you want to do a smooth video, you know, 
try not to use choppy edits or choppy transitions unless that's your niche and you want to continue that. And number three, always, always, always save and save and save and save because depending on what the video is, save it and yeah. And as I was saying before, before I got rudely interrupted, um, you definitely want to use a good quality app or software. Um, I know a lot of um, the followers that I have on Instagram like to praise uh, Pick Play Post and Cute Cut. But they are not good quality apps. They are not. So, I mean, they are, if you want to make a crappy edit, but, like, they're not good quality. So, if you don't, if you, if you want a good edit, don't get those apps. Because they, they stink. Okay? That, that's all I have for the video today. And I'll see you guys next time, I think. Yeah.